Feathers for Phoebe by Rod Clement Phoebe was small and grey and she didn't like it, not one little bit. I want to be noticed. I want to stand out in a crowd. I want to look like you, Phoebe told Zelda. Of course you do, Zelda replied. Zelda was beautiful. Zelda was talented. Zelda was famous. Zelda ran the most popular beauty salon in the forest. Where do I start? asked Phoebe. At the top, darling. Always the top. You need a crest. A brand new crest. Something bright. Something big. Something marvellous. Have a look at the samples and tell me what you like. No, no, maybe, no, maybe, no, yes, said Phoebe. Marvellous, said Zelda. Marvellous, marvellous. No one has ever asked for this one before. Wow, said Phoebe. Wow, said Zelda, so much colour. Determined to show off her new look, Phoebe flew backwards and forwards through the busiest part of the forest. But no one stopped to stare. I need something more, thought Phoebe. Darling, 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 the crest is a start, but it's not enough. You need a tail, Zelda exclaimed. Something long, something elegant. You decide. No, no, maybe, no. Yes, said Phoebe. Beautiful, darling. It will go perfectly with your new crest. Phoebe's new tail did go perfectly with her new crest but it did not go perfectly with anything else. It was so long she could barely get off the ground. The only heads she turned were the ones she whacked as she flew by. I need something else to set off the tail, said Phoebe. Of course you do. You need wings, said Zelda. The choice was huge. Take your time, darling. Wings are everything. Everything. No, no. Maybe, maybe, yes, said Phoebe. Wonderful, 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 said Zelda. With these wings you will shine like the morning sun. Phoebe's new wings looked stunning. It was just a pity she couldn't use them. No flying, darling, said Zelda. They're just for show. From now on, you walk. Walking wasn't easy. It was difficult to turn or lift her head. And down on the forest floor, she wasn't sure if anyone saw her at all. It's your chest and back, said Zelda. The grey cannot stay. It has to go. You choose, Phoebe told Zelda. Choose anything you like, so long as it's fabulous. No, 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 fabulous, no, 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 fabulous, 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 exclaimed Zelda as she added the last fluffy feather to Phoebe's new chest. You're finished, darling, the old Phoebe has gone, the new Phoebe has arrived. Taking care to avoid thorns, spiderwebs, prickly leaves and snagging branches, Phoebe climbed a low hanging vine and began parading up and down. But no one called out to her. No one stopped for a closer look. I have a crest, a tail, feathers every colour of the rainbow, 
but still no one notices me, moaned Phoebe. Sometimes feathers are not enough, darling. You need more, much more, said Zelda. You need a song, a sound, anything, so long as it's loud. And then you will need some moves. Some moves? asked Phoebe. Moves, moves that show off your tail, your crest, your shiny new wings. I like to puff out my chest, fan out my tail, wiggle my rump and sing. Ging gang gooly gooly wash wash ging gang goo, ging gang goo. But remember, this is my song. These are my moves. You need your own, said Zelda. Phoebe spent the rest of the day trying things out. Bada bing, bada boom, bada bing, bang, boom. No. Tum, tum, tee, tum, tum, no. Ticka, ticka, cha, cha, ticka, ticka, choo, ticka, ticka, yes. Then she tried prancing and dancing, whirling and twirling, nodding and bobbing, until finally she came up with the perfect moves for the perfect grooves. The all-new singing, dancing Phoebe was now ready to show herself to the world. Very slowly and very carefully, Phoebe climbed to the top of the tallest tree. She stood on one leg, shook her tail, flicked up her chest, slowly flapped her wings and began to sing. Ticka ticka cha cha, ticka ticka choo, ticka ticka cha. No one noticed. Ticka ticka cha cha, ticka ticka choo. Still, no one noticed. <laughs> Ticka tick. Phoebe's claws slipped off the branch. Clunk. Her head hit a vine, ripping off her new crest. Crash! She fell through an old hawk's nest, pulling off her new wings. Thunk. She collided with a sleeping lizard, which yanked off her new tail. Thud. Phoebe landed smack bang on top of another bird. They stood up a little dazed and a little dusty. Two birds. No fancy crests. No shiny wings. No long elegant tails. Just two small grey birds. Sorry, said Phoebe. I fell. I know. I caught you said the other small grey bird. You did, said Phoebe. Sort of. I'm glad, said the other small grey bird. So am I, said Phoebe. Wow, said the other small grey bird. You sure know how to get noticed.